So Charlie was just telling Keanu that he has seen the film and I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Well, why, why do we need to, do we need to it's, tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's it's great. I'm unfortunately we only found out yesterday it was on. Oh, that's so the reason. that is my excuse. It was, it was logistics more than And I do apologise. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll see tell it and hopefully it. you'll like it. <laughs> tell us about it. Well, let's see. It's a romantic comedy heist movie, and it's about a guy who, I guess, decides to. Rob a bank to change his life. Yeah, and it, it starts out. This, it starts out with you know, the character you play. Uh, I mean, he's, he he's, it seems on the face of it have nothing going on. He works in a dead end job in a toll does, booth, yeah. and then something happens that involves him in a crime. Yeah, it's uh, hence the comedy. There's a knock on, the, on his door, and there's a an old school mate, and he ends up getting in a car. And then these other guys decide to rob a bank. They rob a bank. I'm stuck in the car. I get caught. I go to jail. I meet James Caan. Mm. James Caan, who's a lifer, decides to mentor me. He asks me, Henry, um, you don't have, who, who are you? You don't have a dream. I don't have a dream. What kind of life is that? I say, it's a pretty good one. He says, well, you're in jail. Coming out of jail, I decide, well, hmm, I did the time. I might as well have done the crime. So in the meantime, my wife has divorced me. She's fallen in love with another guy. And then I kind of, uh, I go to this bank and I find out that there's a tunnel between a bank and a theater. And in the theater, I meet Vera Farmiga. Uh, and she's the lead actress in the play, The Cherry Orchard. And, and she's also been in Up in the Air, with opposite oh, yes, George Clooney, and nominated yes. for awards. And she's fabulous yeah, yeah. and fantastic and a firecracker. <laughs> Now, uh, I think you should stop with the plot there because you're going to tell people too much. But this is okay. your, this thank, is very you much. No, you know you don't want to tell <laughs> the whole film. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm it up, and in. you're right. Thank you very much. <laughs> so stop there. But this is your very much your own. You you star in it, but this is your own production as well. Is is that right? Yeah, I developed it uh, with my producing partner, uh, and we worked on the script for about four years with uh, Sasha Gervasi, who did that film uh, documentary Anvil, the story of Anvil. Which four years is a long time. It is. Yeah. Well, I mean. It sounds kind of simple, the plot, but in order to get, you know, to give time to all of the characters and to make sure it was funny, hopefully, and romantic. But yeah, it was four years. When, when you describe yourself as an actor, what, I mean, I, I suppose you don't like to be pigeonholed, but some people will see you as uh, the, the sort of teenage slacker actor. Some people will see you as the action hero actor. How do you, I mean, are you now the comedy heist That's romantic true. actor? What's the, <laughs> you know, what, how would you like people to describe you? Well, I mean, I, I, I hope to be able to, to uh, work in different genres on different scale, you know, independent films, um, studio films. Like right now I'm working on a film called 47 Ronin, uh, which is a, you know, a kind of Western Japanese 1700s um, action film. And, uh, and then doing Henry's Crime. So hopefully I can be, hopefully people will enjoy my work in any genre doing I want it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. Okay. Can we go back to spelling some myths, Keanu? Okay. Can we do that? Because yeah. you're here and people can hear you say it. Okay. There, there is, there's a sort of mythology that surrounds you that you're sad. That, uh, oh, you yes. know, there's this whole the sad, sad Keanu thing. Uh, you know, yes. that you're somebody who carries quite a lot of burdens around with you. And, uh, <laughs> you know, what's all, what's all that about? Well, that started with a uh, paparazzo picture. Um, of me eating a sandwich. It was an internet uh, kind yeah. of aspect uh, that was run. Um, and that was a kind of, uh, some, someone just decided to take this paparazzo picture and, uh, and you know, create this event on the internet of um, kind of sad Keanu day. Did, did that strike you that it can just, some, <laughs> a moment can be taken out of context, that someone can take a photograph at any moment? Well, I mean, and do it, people do deal with that every day, do you not? Yeah, but they don't <laughs> have, they have the whole world discussing whether or not you're sad or not. I mean, we don't have to deal with that. And then well, it suddenly good, everyone's fun. talking it was, about you. It you was know? good, clean fun. I you guess. see it as fun, it's just part of life. I mean, it, it, in that kind of aspect, absolutely. Mm. I mean, it's, it's it, you know, not quite harm. I mean, do I wish that I didn't get my picture taken and while I was eating a sandwich on the streets of New York? Yeah. You know, because it strikes me that you're actually a very private person. Yeah. That yeah. you don't appreciate a loss of intrusion. And you, you live in a world where gossip and photographs and the internet discuss Ooh. the details of your life, all the, well, of, of lots of people's lives all the time. Yes, they do. Yeah. And? I don't, what, I, don't no. I mean, I can't really. It's not a comfortable position to be in, is it? Uh, you know, um, it depends on what position it's putting you in. 
uh, I mean, in general, you want to have, you want to lead a private life. You don't necessarily want to be followed or having dinner or, you know, if you're with friends and family, you know, you don't want to be, you know, kajong, kajong, you know, mm. it's, it's, uh, it's not fun. And then, but uh, that's all I can say. Well, let's on. stop there. Now, can I ask you something else entirely different then? This is, you know, as a news program, amongst other things. Uh, and we've watched, obviously, mm. uh, what's been going on in America in relation to the shooting most recently. Now, can I ask you, in this film, in your new film, mm -hmm. the character you play, very deliberately, he's going to rob a bank, doesn't use guns. That's right. And he yeah. says very clearly, he says he doesn't want to hurt anyone. Mm. Yeah. Now, People could get I'm hurt. thinking, uh, is there a message here? You're, you're of a certain age now. You appeared, for example, in the Matrix film, which became very famous for the, you know, those gun sequences. Right. And by some people were linked you know, to things like Columbine and sure. influences. Right. Are, are you as an older actor more conscious of the use of guns in films? Is there, are you saying something in, the, in this film? I, I would say both. You know, I mean, I think, you know, to follow up on the, on the Matrix trilogy, um, you know, the character I played in the end, you know, the, you know, is asked, what do you want? And he says, peace. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately that was about, you know, different systems and, um, was, you know, living, getting along. Um, and in Henry's crime, yeah, there is a, um, there is a response to that aspect of not, of, you know, this character not wanting to hurt anyone, not to put anyone in a situation of harm. But is that, I mean, are you ha is there a thought process in your head about the whole thing, about, you know, the worry about how guns are portrayed in film, or is there something going on there, or am I reading more into it? I, um, well, I, practically, I guess it's, you know, it's, it's theory, it's practical, it's a reaction, it's a response. I think in terms of do c guns in movies create crime? Mm hmm. What do you I, think? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But having been in the Matrix, I mean, you'll know about that whole argument that went on. I mean, has it made, yeah. you, has it given you a pause for thought, you know? Well, I, I think as an, I don't want to, you know, in any kind, in any project or work that I do, there, there is a consideration and thought in terms of, of what it could be saying. And, um, if there is going to be an aspect of, I'm not going to be frivolous with it. I'm not going to be pornographic with it. I'm not going to, um, you know, there might be hopefully enjoyable exploitation, but I'm not, but I hope to have some kind of dialogue with it in the sense of what does it mean? What is it doing? Not, not necessarily like, you know, guns are cool and go out there and kill people. I mean, um, hmm. I, I mean, I think that at some level it, it is entertainment, and I think, um, you know, uh, I don't know if, if entertainment, or if, if a film can be held to that, like The Matrix yeah. being connected to Columbine, I think is, is An unfair link. theory and, and a kind of aspect that necess doesn't necessarily track to the depth of the event. Well, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I do, you know, absolutely. I mean, to, in order of to watching a film and seeing like guns are cool or to anything like that, to actually coming and killing a person, I don't know. It's a very fascinating topic, and we are now done for time. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry, and, and lovely to see you here this morning. Right, and the film you. is is uh, fun. It's a great fun film, and uh, thank you well, very much. Well, thanks for that. Thank right, you for cheers. coming in this morning. It was really good to talk to you. Thank you. you. It's one of those moments where you open up a whole debate oh, and we yeah. can talk for so long. And, and unfortunately, we yeah. have to win the programme. Keanu, thanks Thank very you. much Let's indeed for your time. <laughs> Thank you. That is, you're right, three minutes to ten. And that is news. And here is weather with Liam Dutton. Have a good day. Bye-bye.